Hi! In this video I will talk about the Picardy third. So what is the Picardy third? Let's say that you are in the minor key and you are borrowing scale degree number three, the third, from the parallel major. And you are using it only for the last measure, only for the very end, the last measure of your piece. Let's take a look here on the board. We have a short melody which sounds like this. C minor, it starts with the C minor, it ends with the C minor. And take a look here, we have B flat, E flat, and A flat. So we're in the key of C minor. We said that we're going to borrow scale degree number three, the third, from the parallel major. So what is the parallel major of C minor? C major scale. So let's write down the notes of C major scale. So it's going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. The C major scale. And we say that we are going to borrow scale degree number three. One, two, three. Scale degree number three from the parallel major. Scale degree number three. Now take a look. Here we have the E natural versus the E flat in the C minor. We have the E natural. And if we borrow the E natural and we use it here for the last measure, take a look we have a C minor chord. So if we use scale degree number three, the third, scale degree number three from the parallel major, we are playing the E natural. So it's not going to be a C minor chord anymore, but it's going to be a C major triad instead. Let's write down C major triad. And now I'm going to play the entire melody as is. But here in the last measure, I'm going to play a C major. I'm going to play it with the Picardy third. Borrow scale degree number three from the parallel major, the E natural. And play for the last measure a C major triad instead of C minor. And this will sound like this. And this was the Picardy third. <laughs> 